Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Fison again. Uh, thought I'd do my videos a little differently this time. Uh, actually, show my face for a change. <laughs> uh, I don't know why so so many people don't show their face on YouTube. Everybody wants to hide their mug. Uh, I've got nothing to hide, so. Who knows, I may start doing all my videos like this. It's kind of easier anyway, because I can sit down and do it. But, uh, anyway. Uh, this video is about something I've been wanting for a long time. And I used to have, they used to have these everywhere in the 80s. And, uh, they're called butterfly knives or ballast arms. So, uh, this one came in a box like this. Made in China, obviously, as most of these were back in the 80s. Uh, most of the ones back in the 80s weren't this big, but I, want, I like big knives. So. Anyway, this is called the Scoundrel XL. And I got it on Blade Play, and it was $14.99. And <clears throat> with shipping and everything, it was right under... I think $18. It was either, no, it was 1898 I think, was shipping or something like that. So that's not too bad. And they come in all different colors. Uh, they've got gold ones and chrome. Uh, they had blue spec, green spec, red, red and black, all kinds of different stuff. But And they also come in the four inch version, which is just the regular scoundrel. I think those are 11 or 12.99 right now. So yeah, that's a pretty good deal if you want to, you know, just a good butterfly to be something to play with. You know, this one uh, is a little big to be flipping around, but you can do it all right. I mean, it's not bad. So I'm not the best flipper in the world, but uh, yeah. It's not bad. It's kind of heavy though, so when you do it, it bangs your knuckles. But other than that, this is, uh, the handles are aluminum. They're just colored to look like bronze. I hope I said bronze or I think I said bronze earlier. Anyway, they do have one that looks like brass. And then, like I said, chrome and black. But anything you want. I'm glad they made this uh, clasp uh, black uh, hook. But when it's closed, there's no blade wiggle at all. And they did a really good job, I don't know if you can see that, polishing the stainless on the uh, blade part. And I like that Bowie style clip point blade. This is a six inch blade. I think this is, I think they measured this 13 inches overall. And I'll weigh it. I got my scale here, so so it says looking at 8.5 ounces. So it's not really light, but considering how big it is, you know, I mean that's a that's a massive knife, you know, for you know if you could carry one that big. But uh, I live in the state of Tennessee, so. Uh, four inches is our maximum blade limit, and uh, I believe it was 2014 or 15. Uh, state House was going to uh, have a vote uh, pass a law where we could carry knives bigger than four inches, uh, which would have been nice because then I could have carried this anywhere I wanted. But unfortunately for us. The Tennessee Sheriff's Association went to that hearing and made a big ruckus and a big fuss about it. And the bill got shot down in the vote. So, still ridiculous to me that when they did that, they're, they're basically saying this knife here is more dangerous than a 44 Magnum. Because you can carry a 44 Magnum legally, but you can't carry this. And that's just retarded. So, 
I don't know about you, but I know it's, this one's more dangerous than maybe five feet and in, but from anything from five feet and out, <laughs> I'd say a 44 Magnum would do more damage. But uh, yeah, this one's got a real good point on it. And uh, talking about a thrusting weapon or, or a penetration weapon would be fine, but as far as the blade goes, It has no blade. <laughs> I mean, it has no edge on the blade. It's about as dull as a butter knife. So, I can't find one sharp spot on it. Which is crazy, because, uh, but you know, for 15 bucks, I guess they figure you can put your own edge on it. So, but I'll put it on the work sharp one of these days and uh, see what I can get out of it and I'll strop it real good. Hopefully it'll take an edge. I'm sure it's just some cheap 440 or something like that, so it shouldn't be a problem. But, uh, yeah, I did cut myself today shaving. I hardly ever do that. Right here on the chin, too. I don't know if the razor is dull or sharp. <laughs> I say a dull, day, a dull blade is, an, is a dangerous blade, and uh, I thought I only used it like twice, but yeah, I just want to show this. Pretty good size knife. Take up a pretty good bit of space in your wallet, I mean in your pocket, but uh, in your wallet. But it would take up uh, quite a bit of space in your pocket, and you would know it's there. So, uh, one thing would be nice if they could do with, with regular ballast songs is if they could add a clip on it or something, a uh, pocket clip maybe. That would be my only critique, critique of them. But uh, with this one, you can hold it way back here and get a lot of reach. <laughs> I mean, you could really keep your distance from somebody and still do a lot of damage but yeah so anyway 15 bucks is it worth it I think so I may get a couple more I don't know I like them I may get some regular size when regular four inch when I see how much easier it is to flip so but I would like to have some in the different colors and I think it's pretty good quality for what you get. I mean, it's not great, but, you know, it's a $15, you know, it's, it's not like a Microtech or a Benchmade where you're going to get, you know, precision machining and all that CNC, all that stuff. And But but for what it is, it's not bad. So, anyway. I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a nice week. Take care. Talk to you later.